Every time you use an AI like ChatGPT, you're plugging into the World Wide Web of Knowledge. But what about your private web of knowledge? Your spreadsheets, your documents, your emails that make up your actual work life? ChatGPT can't see any of that. Out of the blocks, it's totally blind to that information. However, Gemini, on the other hand, can see all that stuff. It's plugged into your Google Workspace account it can access it and take full advantage of it for you. And that changes everything. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to access this massive unfair advantage that you have. We're gonna get Gemini to connect the dots across your Google workspace, turning that web of knowledge into your own personal superpower. I'm James, the founder of Kimberly IT, and we specialize in Google workspace and IT support and assistance for companies that are using Google workspace. So if your company's using Google workspace and you haven't got IT support and assistance, give us a shout because we specialize in looking after your companies. Scale up, start, startups and small to mid-sized businesses, they're our key and we love working with them and they get so much benefit and save so much time by being shown how to take advantage of all these tools they're using. And it's not just Google Workspace, we can fix that printer that keeps breaking all the time as well. Now to take advantage of this, you need to make sure Gemini can access your Google Workspace. And you can do this in two ways. You can do it through Gmail by going to the settings icon in the top right hand corner, clicking see all settings and then on this general tab, Scrolling down to this area that says Manage Workspace Smart Feature Settings, click on that and make sure you've got both options ticked. Once you've got them ticked, hit Save. The other way you can do it is through the Gemini chatbot app at gemini.google.com. Go there, click on the Settings cog in the bottom left-hand corner, click on Apps, and make sure you've got this toggle turned on. That gives Gemini access to Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Keep and Google Tasks. It's lucky that we've given Gemini access to our Google Workspace because this email has just come through. It's asking for us to provide a marketing brief for a Panda chocolate bar that we're meant to be creating to give get uh, board approval and uh, we haven't done anything. So uh, let's get started and use Gemini to generate all this content and use our web of knowledge to send this over to the board. So first off, I'm going to create an image of our Panda chocolate bar. To do this, I'm going to go to Gemini and I'm going to use its image generation feature. So in the prompt bar, I'm going to paste in a prompt that I've got here, asking it to create a mock-up of this chocolate bar called Panda Chocolates. It's meant to be kid-friendly, aiming at kids, and it's meant to be in the shape of a panda, this chocolate bar, and it's a mixture of milk chocolate and white chocolate. So let's send this through, and in a few seconds, Image Gen, which is the name of the AI that's being used in a Gemini to do it, should come back with an image that's hopefully good enough for us to be able to send across as a mock-up to what the uh, it's going to look like. Smack on! Look how good that is. That is absolutely. I'm actually going to give them a tick because that really is a good response back. So with that image, I can go and download that and save it into our Google Drive. So with that downloaded into my Google Drive, it'll head over to Google Drive and create a marketing brief that we can send over. So now we've created that fantastic image in Gemini. Let's go and create a marketing document that we can help uh, use to send over to the board later. So I'm in a new shared drive and I want to create a document to start off with. So I'm going to right click and click uh, Google Docs. In Google Docs, once it's loaded up, you'll see I've got a couple of options across the top. Generate a document, help me write and a few others. Well, I want to create a document. Docs, what's this loaded up? Are you referring to a specific document or asking about something else related to Google Docs? Here's a tip. Whenever you're recording a YouTube video, make sure that you've uh, muted your Google Assistant on all your devices. Otherwise, they will interrupt and get in the way. I like this one has, so I'm just going to turn that off and we will get back to it. So I'm in this Google Doc now and I need to generate a document. So I'm going to click on Generate a Document and I'm going to stick in a prompt that I've pre-written but it's the same thing about the other one that I did in Gemini to create the image, but this time I'm asking it to create a marketing plan for our new chocolate bar, our Panda Chocolates. I've given it some details in here, uh, like what the chocolate is. It's a blend of milk chocolate and white chocolates. It'll be shaped like a panda, but I've also got some stuff in here. It's going to be sold in the UK and compete against well-known uh, chocolate brands like Cadbury. Based on this information, can you create me a marketing concept document that meets the uh, mentioned requirements? So I'm going to do that and hit Create. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, to do this and um, it will pop back up and hopefully it will be a great document. Here we go, the document has just loaded. As you can see, it's actually pretty fantastic. It's done the images. These images have all been generated by uh, Gemini. I've not had to do anything there. Uh, and it's brought all these details in. So we've got a product overview, got the target audience, the key demographics, and other things, the pricing strategy, distribution channels, and all that stuff. So that looks actually really quite of good that I could send over to somebody. Of course, I'd read it fully beforehand. Um, I could also use the Gemini um, sidebar. So on any uh, app you're in, like Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, all that kind of stuff, Google Drive, um, in the top right, you've got the Gemini button that you can toggle on and off, and it opens the Gemini sidebar. 
and in here you can ask specific things so I could ask it to do like an executive um, overview I'm going to type that in now actually and we'll see what it comes back with so they have asked it to provide me with an executive overview and hit enter Gemini is going to do some thinking and it's going to come back and here's an executive overview that I, it has given me um, with this I can do two things as well I can actually insert it into the document so I can put my cursor somewhere and hit insert or I can just copy and paste this into something so if I was like the email that we're about to send later I could copy and paste this in but that's what you can do and it will also come back with some more suggestions and more questions that you may want to ask about the document really handy if you've got a very long document to uh, analyze and go through so we're now back at Google Drive that file that we've just created is inside Google Drive uh, and now what we need to do is probably need like a, um, a, a plan of how you're going to uh, go about marketing this or even how you're going to start producing the chocolate bars so I reckon we can do that in Google Sheets so we're going to go new and we're going to click Google Sheets and in this one, we're going to be using completely the Gemini sidebar on the right hand side. So when you do open a Google Sheet for the first time, um, Gemini will actually slightly appear and this will show you some templates, tables that you can already do. So there's some handy ones here. So for example, like a feedback collection with this one, it's using AI to uh, generate a response back for you and to analyze what the the content of the message were. So if you were collecting feedback from customers, you can see in column C here, that's the feedback. And then in column D, it's showing you what the sentiment was and uh, then it's putting it into categories based on what you've uh, told Gemini to do but that's not what we're going to do this time so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own table using the option in the top right hand corner help me create a table I've got a prompt that I've pre-written that I'm going to post in here and this is we're going to ask um, Gemini to create a table in Google Sheets of the manufacturing process we might need to follow for our panda chocolate uh, chocolate bar so let's hit that in there and see what happens there we go it's done that for me um, it's inserted it straight away if I'm happy with it I can hit insert or I can close it and remove it so I'm gonna hit insert that's a basic outline of producing a chocolate bar um, which is handy because I didn't know any of that beforehand and now we do know so that's in there you can also do a few more things on the right hand side if you wanted to if you had more information that you can put in here um, I find that the Google Sheets uh, sidebar of Gemini is a bit limited it's not the best one in the world um, there's a lot of things you put in there and it doesn't really get it. It's kind of good with formulas So if you don't really know what the formula is if you can explain what you're trying to do Then it will generate that for you, uh, but overall it's probably the weakest part in uh, Gemini the sidebar in Google Sheets um, Anyway, now we've created this uh, manufacturing process uh, probably should name it So back to uh, Google Drive now and we we'll see that our two files are in there the uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use a new service called Google Vids and we're going to create a executive video overview using the documents that we can then send in our email back to the uh, the board so they can uh, have a quick glance and look through it rather than having to look through uh, a lot of detailed information. To do this we head over to vids.google.com and you'll get this page appear and we're going to click on start a new video. So now we're in Google Vids we're going to select the option to plan your video story. And again, this is where you give it a prompt, but I can actually at mention files in this one as well. So I'm going to put in my prompt here and where I said use this marketing document, I'm just going to put a space in here. And this is what you can do in Gemini. And this is where the web of knowledge comes in. You can at mention files you already have, which you wouldn't be able to do in, G in uh, chat GPT. So uh, there's the file that we created earlier. And I've just stuck that in there and I'm going to hit next. Now what it's going to do is edit the outline of this video. So it's looking into that file and it's coming back with a uh, concept for this video uh, based on my thing and you can see I did mention here the video should provide an executive overview uh, for it for only focusing on the key concerns and facts on this part I'd normally skip the editing the outline thing because it doesn't show you what it's actually produced it gives you the name but it doesn't show you so it's kind of like a bit pointless to be fair so hit the next button and you can then pick the format you want uh, let's go with this brownish one because that's a bit like chocolatey color so we're going to create the uh, draft video Again, shouldn't take too long and it will create the video with a voice overview so here we go it didn't take that long to do now what it's done it's created an executive overview of um, based on that document that I provided it and it's got a timeline at the bottom so you can uh, edit this like you would normally on a video uh, editor um, of course it's less basic than something like um, Adobe Premiere and all that kind of stuff but let's hit the play button and you'll see that it's actually done a voice narration and it's um, made this video using AI let me do that again because I had the volume turned off on my computer to stop notifications hopefully this will come through and you'll be able to hear it stand out 
The product's core innovation is its harmonious blend of creamy milk and sweet white chocolate, molded into an engaging panda shape. Understanding our target audience is crucial for effective marketing. Our primary target audience is children aged 4 to 10, who are drawn to playful shapes and there you go, how easy was that? It's created a great video overview that I can just send over to the, the board based on all the information and the stuff we've created so far. And of course, it doesn't have to be things you've just created. If you've got stuff that um, you've already had in Google Drive and things like that, you can mention that too. So um, let's jump back over to the email. Actually, no, 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 let's do something first. Let's just drop in a message to a colleague and get them to have a quick look over. So at any point, Gemini, you can go to Google Chat and you can send a message to somebody. I've actually already sent this one over uh, to Joseph Nichols, who doesn't actually exist, so he's never gonna reply back. But all I did was put in a, um, a message and I put a link in to the document. And what he'll have received on his side is the same message. And he's also got the option to use Gemini to summarize this file. So if he can't be bothered to read the whole thing, he can click on that and the sidebar in Google Chat will appear and it will give him a summary of what's in that document. Of course, he can always, and we know he will, if he existed, um, click on that file, go into the document and make suggestions and edits as you normally do in Google Doc. Now there's another thing that you may or may not want to do to get more information about a topic, and that's using deep research. So we're back at the Gemini chatbot. I'm gonna stick a prompt in here, and I'm asking it to generate a report on the main players who produce chocolate bars, specifically aimed at the child market. Um, and what I do with this, and I, rather than hitting enter straight away, I hit deep research. And then I'll hit the submit button. And what deep research is, is Gemini is gonna go out across the internet and it's going to do a lot of reasoning and thinking and come back with a, a document, a, a Google doc, and it's gonna be pretty damn impressive when it does it. First off though, once I've put a prompt in, it will ask you, it will come back and it will tell you the, the um, steps it's gonna take in its research. And you can click edit plan and you can change this at any point if you want to. Uh, so these are the steps. All I could do is just put in, I say an extra step or say remove step three. Uh, I'm gonna say, actually that's good enough. So let's just uh, proceed. Uh, it should just take that command and come back with that screen. And now it's gone off to do the research because I gave it the okay. On the right hand side, you can actually watch it do the research. It's understood the goal, it's going through things and it's now going to tell us which websites it's using to do the research. Now this can take quite a bit of time, the research can. Um, anywhere up to 20 minutes, it can take quite a bit of time. So we'll probably have to come back to this. Uh, if we want to see the outline but it is absolutely superb so um i don't know what you do now you just i guess you just have to wait for it to start i'm going to pause the video and come back you go and i don't know have a cup of tea or something like that and i'll see you once this is done a few moments later so we're back and here we go this is the report that deep research has generated for us um it's absolutely huge and it's all about the chocolate industry and how panda chocolates should um, compete against uh, these other companies. So you've got Nestle there, Hershey, it's, it's gone through all of them. Mars, uh, it's highlighting their most uh, famous products that kids love. So M&M Minis here. Never been a fan of them myself, but uh, I like Smarties more. But uh, as you go through it, you can see it's a massive document and all the sources are cited at the bottom. So it's 53 websites in total that it went through. Uh, and got all this information from. So you can always source everything to make sure it's right before you send it to the uh, the board if you wanted to. Um, I'd probably summarize this though. I'd go on the left-hand side and say um, in here, give me a quick executive summary and it would change it around a bit. Even though it's done one at the top, I've just noticed. So I can just cut and paste that and job done. A couple of options you've got here. Uh, you can create a thing called an audio overview, um, which is really handy because you can listen to it on your mobile phone while you're traveling. So if you're on the way to a meeting, you know, you're on the underground or somewhere like that and you want something to listen to, well, there you go. You've got your audio overview of this document so you can get a grasp of it before you have to go and present it. Uh, the other option is, I'm not going to, I didn't mention the other options to be honest, because the web page, it's all coding. This is, it will just give you code to create a web page. Infographic, not what you think it's going to be. You think it's going to produce a beautiful image for your infographic of what it's found here? No, no, no. It's going to give you the coding to create an infographic and then you need to put that coding into a program to create the infographic. Uh, I've not really messed around with that myself. Probably will one day, I may do a video about it. Uh, quiz is kind of handy in that it will create a quiz based on this stuff. So if you were for some reason going to be um, grilled at wherever you're doing your proposal, it might give you an idea of some of the questions that you might be getting asked. Uh, but the, the easiest option on this one is to go to export and we can export it to a Google Doc. Uh, I've just clicked on that and it's now exporting that to a Google Doc, which I can then share with uh, any colleagues or anything like that and make some changes and all that kind of stuff. And I could add it to my email that we're gonna be sending to the board in a second. So there you go, 
that's been put into a, a Google Doc for you, nicely formatted Google Doc, and it should have all the sources down at the bottom as well. There you go, so it's all cited. So no one can say it's hallucinating because you can go and check that stuff out. So now we're back at the email and we wanna send this stuff back to, uh, to James, who's actually me, and I'm acting as Lauren in this. Yeah, it's a bit confusing, but that's what happens when you're using a training account to uh, record these videos. So hit reply. And what you've got here is you've got this option here, this pen icon, which is help me write. And this is Gemini. So in Gemini, you can put your prompt in there. You can type whatever you want. I'm just cutting and pasting a prompt in here. So I have pasted this in. So I'm saying use this document and I've given it a link to the document. So this is a link you'd share with people or the one you've taken out of the uh, web address if you're the owner of the document. And I've asked it to generate an email that I can send to the marketing department asking them to go ahead with the planning which wasn't what I was gonna do. I put the wrong prompt in because this is the one that's meant to go for the board. So I want you to generate a executive uh, overview. Next executive overview that can be shown to the board to get sign off. Let's go for that. So hit create and Gemini is now gonna look into that document and it's gonna create this and there you go. It's created the email. If I'm happy with that, Great, I can hit insert. If I'm not happy with it, slight issue here. So if I'm not happy with it, I can hit the recreate button. Gemini will create another version of the email, so I'm gonna do that now. But I can't get back to the previous one. So if the recreation wasn't as good as the one before, I can't go back. So if you are gonna do that, you probably should copy and paste this before you hit the recreate button, just so you don't lose it in case the next generation that comes up isn't as good as the original one. Likewise, if you need to make adjustments to the email, you have to close this, clicking the cross in there, hitting the Gemini button again and putting a new prompt in to get stuff back. Hopefully they'll change that so you can just reconfigure it on the fly. Can't do that at the moment, but if you're happy with what it's done, hit insert. That will insert the email there. You've got to do a bit of formatting. So where it's done the bullet points and things like that, they're still remaining as stars. And where it's, it's basically, it's done it in markdown and coding. It's called anywhere that had these two um, stars beforehand, that should be in bold. So you do need to go down and, and do all that editing before you send it off. But there you've done it. You've, you've created that um, executive overview that I was asking Lauren to do, and we can email that back to them. Of course, don't forget, if you wanted to, you, could book, you can also attach your documents uh, just by clicking on the Google Drive icon, and we could insert that amazingly nice video that was done and the amazing image at the start of Panda Chocolate that was going in there. So if you do see them in the shops, feel free to buy one. It will help the channel, but what will help the channel even more is if you hit subscribe and tell your friends about it and share this video with people you might think find it useful. Thanks for watching.